look at that beautiful view and then you've got the Isle of Man how are we mate? Right. is dad in there? he's, uh, he's over there now in, have you only just got here? yeah yeah fair enough right then the return leg I've done Craig Niche hope you enjoyed the pictures and the little video uh, very choppy 25 miles per hour gusts uh, we're now going to go round to Port Erin for uh, a spot of lunch that was like a, a pre-lunch if you want nice scone and a cup of tea um, so we're going to go to Port Erin now as we can see the fog has descended on us but obviously that is not a, an area of racing so we should be alright the racing happens up that way and that looks pretty clear so Anyway So, next left to Port Erin such a funny weather system here in the Isle of Man I don't think it's raining up there 12 o'clock but it's definitely um, it's definitely cloudy isn't it and foggy so <sighs> let's just hope it's all clear for and then you know my point my point in, in, in topic there is look at the blue skies <laughs> over Port Erin so it's so funny you can be obviously it's a 37 mile track so it can be really sunny cracking the flags in one part of the section but then Another half of the sections, raining, foggy, you name it. Anyway, here we are. Let's go and get a good view. And I'll show you the, the beautiful seaside town of Port Heron. So, check back in in a minute. Right, good a parking space as any. Let's go and get some lunch, shall we? So here we are. For those of you who aren't familiar with the island, this is Port Erin. And uh, it's one of the most classical sort of British seaside resorts you, you can get. It's got everything. Here's Daisy. I'll try and get a nice picture of Daisy in front of Brad ahead later as well. So yeah, as you can see, really starting to fill up with bikes now um, the full race meet starts in two days so I'm gonna go and head down to the cozy nook see what's going on all right hello guys so unfortunately we came to Port Erin for a sandwich from the cozy nook or as it's now called the foraging vintners or something um, as pictured it, they didn't have any food left obviously it's a sunny day it's Port Erin so they were all out of supplies never mind so we're gonna go on um, so what we'll do is we'll probably move on potter on down to Solby Ways go and pay the Solby Glen Hotel visit and they do nice food in there so what I'll do is I'll just basically film riding around. 
to enjoy some footage of the rolling hills of the Isle of Man. Like dressed up like a mannequin. I guess the only problem is I know the actual mountain course pretty much like the back of my hand. I've done it so so many times, but in terms of these roads, I don't often do them. So it's you know I don't I'm not too familiar with the roads. Obviously I've done them a few times, but in terms of knowing the entrance and exits to the corners and stuff, not yet. They put a 50 speed limit on it anyway, and they're quite they're enforcing it now. See, they're starting to get a bit more open to the elements now. <laughs> Hope you can still hear me for the wind noise. I'm like the only bike on going this way. Wow. Look at these beautiful views. I think we're going to end up at the top near uh, Cat, uh, near Rushton Mines soon, which is a lovely, lovely area. Just a nice, gentle one this afternoon. Oh, look at that for a road. See the sort of shadows and the rolling clouds. Really seen it. Hopefully, it's coming up on camera as good as it looks in person. This is <laughs> this is quite daunting, heading straight to the fog. <laughs> visibility gets really bad, I can always just turn around, that's not the end of the world, but I'll try not to put myself in too much unnecessary danger. This is what it's all about, isn't it? Winding country roads. This is why you pay the big bucks to the steam packet company to get over here. into this weather system. I'm gonna catch this car up I think. Like I was before, I'm happy just to get a toe off this car. Especially if it's a Manxi, yeah it's a local so they'll know the road better than I do. Happy just to sit sit with them for now. Unless an offer I simply can't refuse passes itself. Wow, this is so dramatic. You know exactly what I was talking about before. You know it can be completely sunny, really quite hot to the point where my levers were zipped down. So now driving through this. It's freezing cold. <laughs> 
cold. <laughs> I've got a cold sweat. But I'm having the time of my life because I'm on a Daytona and um, it's TT fortnight, so fuck it. So this is a uh, rush to mines like I was talking about. If I get a bit of road that's open like that, no chance of my passing that overtake off. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy, how sharp to spend, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> bikers, hello fellow bikers. Look how fast the, uh, the mist is going across. Oh, there's nowhere to be seen, I've left it for dead. Oh, don't worry guys, there's sun on the other side, I promise. Beautiful road. Right, so this is a junction now. Slow it down, take it with respect. Yeah, they've seen me. what they used to mine for there but I'm sure my dad doesn't know I forget it was actually where we watched the Manx rally from about eight years ago so it was like a special course circuit around there it was fantastic yeah we sat just by the mines this so nice such a great riding road you don't have to be thrashing it to have a good time here like just been like laboring it around I'm just waiting for one of these to just sheerly drop off <laughs> I forget it's one of them I know one of these is sharper than the others I think we're going back into civilization now. If I remember correctly, there's like a paintball in a you know, or something on my right. Or some sort of activity centre. There's a coffee cottage down there. Oh, I'll just have to check that out one day. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, that looks beautiful. Oh, let's go and let's go and check it out. Wow, let's have a nose. Lovely. Bike service station. We're not stopping, we're just coming in to have a look. Wow, so there you go, eh? Fantastic. 
Yeah, maybe one for another day. A little hot in the middle of nowhere. This is the type of road that would be so fun if it was deer restricted. Oh, saying that, it is! <laughs> So, um, Sorby Glen Hotel, as always, nice bit of grub, soup and a roll. Now, we're going to go to spin an RTC uh, from Ramsey to the bungalow. So we're going to go up Faulty Will, which is uh, the little country sorts of B roads that go up to the bungalow. So we'll show you that. I'm on 25% battery, so if it cuts off, the remainder of the vlog will be with the mobile phone but it's just going to be at Bray Hill anyway, watching the races. So let's see how much of this trip up to, to the bungalow it will capture. this road it just gets a little bit hairy when you get to the um, when you get to the hairpin area <laughs> especially when you got a super bike with a with a really bad full log um, but apart from that it's a lovely little road and uh, when the when the mountain road gets closed it's a lovely little trip down So we now have a police car tow instead. I assume they're going up to the. They would have told us to turn around if it was if the mountain road was closed. Anyway, so 25%. Obviously, I'm filming in 5k. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean. I'm, I'm stuck between two minds because I, I love the hyper view because it gives you a full like massive point of view of, of myself and obviously you get to see a lot more scenery but it does eat camera life so what I'm going to do is do a, the next vlog in 4k super view which I believe will give me an extra 20 or 25 minutes running time and that will help because at the moment I've had to do a pit stop charge at the Sulby Glen. I think the camera's faulty anyway, because like I said, I'm having that issue where I have to keep on like hard resetting, like pressing and holding the power button for 10 seconds, and uh, it doesn't like being left on charge. It, it doesn't like starting up on a on a quick, you know, the setting where you can press the last use setting, as I said, I explained before, is playing up. So I'm probably going to have to uh, send it back when I get back from the Isle of Man and see if I come back over in the Man for the Manx in August. I should have a fully working GoPro that just works on the press of a button. Because I can't really piss about here, like if you can see my hands, I'd have to sort of hold the camera 
for a good 10 seconds and then press the shutter button and when you're trying to ride the motorcycle at the same time and you don't want to keep on stopping as well because especially if you're somewhere like this there's not too many fantastic stopping places I assume the last two letters mean motorcycle club or motorcycle club, however you say it in French. Um, good effort on them. They about to drive all the way through, you know, potentially all the way through Europe and then obviously through the UK from Dover. Um, I've only had to go five minutes down the road to the ferry terminal. I do consider myself very lucky. This is all beautifully tarmac. I kind of remember this being a little bit more bumpy. Um, definitely been resurfaced not too long ago see a great place to just stand and watch them as you do told you about before so if it's like a B&B here uh, the faulty wheel B&B really posh sort of uh, modern building design that says nestled into the into the hills but then you've got the the um, the unenviable task of negotiating this this uh, this this turn now on a superbike it's probably one of my least favorite areas of the course well it's not the course but the island man not this one the one up here, you'll see what I mean. of the season <laughs> so we're gonna have to fill up when we get back down to Douglas should get me over the mountain it is only half the mountain um, the mountain portion very low fog as well Mananan's cloak so I'm not gonna be pushing it
camera's still blinking, so you're going to be able to see at least a very foggy, small portion of the mountain. I will, I promise I'll get you a full run of the mountain at some point over the next 10 days. Just have not had much luck uh, with the mountain and the weather and the, the road closures and stuff. So, um, but it swings and roundabouts. I'm hoping that I'll get a nice sunny effort up there one of these days. Yeah, so we're going to be at the uh, the bungalow now, which is just ridiculous how foggy this is. You won't even be able to see the bungalow or the Victory Cafe. I was hoping to be able to show you the Victory Cafe up the hill, but um, not this time. That will be next time. We'll get a bite to eat there as well and show you the food, the lovely pies there. Yeah, I think the Victory Cafe is somewhere up there. <laughs> yeah, I see blues. You know what? They're probably not letting bikers up that hill. Uh, I would assume it's going to be closed both ways. I'm not going to be surprised if it's closed both ways. 